Welcome back to DFL. Of course, this is DBS. Our guests tonight are Tekla Fitz and Earl Buske, and we're talking about why there are so many single professional women in St. Lucia. And shortly before the break, we were talking about value systems. Well, Tekla started talking, and I asked her to hold the thought. Please release it. Okay. A woman being single depends on what her value system is. It means that she doesn't want to settle for anything. And so there are two categories we can put women in. Those who have no issues being single because they stand for certain values, be it spiritual values, be it personal values. And there are those who are scared of being single. So they would settle for any Joe Blue who walks into their life. We can categorize them in those two sections. Generally, there are women who may be married and live a very miserable relationship. Um, they show what they want the public to see, but behind closed doors, they're really not what is anticipated. Mm -hmm. But they stay together because that's what the society expects, that's what is respected. When you refer man, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Now, Delia and Earl, when you look at some of the reasons women would be single, you ask yourself, why? Mm -hmm. But we also need to ask, where are the men? Because most eligible men who may be good providers, who may be good companions, they are either married, mm -hmm. and you don't want to be the Jabal as a single professional woman. You shouldn't woman. want to be. You not even if you weren't professional. That's not where you want to be. If you mm -hmm. have, and we speak about values. Mm -hmm. The other good men may be found in prison. Yeah. And some of them are actually there, not because they're guilty of a crime. It can be for so many other reasons. Because, oh, if you walk into your house and you notice somebody stealing, vandalizing, or abusing your children, your wife, or any type of violence... When you said earlier that you really cannot, you let that anger out. You do not import your anger. You export it. You do something. It can be manslaughter. It can be murder. You're in prison. Does it mean Earl is a bad man? Yeah, no. that's few and far between. Most of the so there are few, good few and far, far between. <laughs> yeah, and then that, and then going in there changes them as well because right. they think, well, I wasn't guilty and I'm being treated. I'm guilty. As a guilty so I think right. that that might change them. And maybe mm -hmm. then you look at some of them. Drugs took over their life. Mm -hmm. And the rest, they're not sure of their sexual orientation. Mm -hmm. So a single woman really have a challenge. Because the quality of men you can get is outweighed by the quantity of the Joe Blows and ambitious men. I hear, I hear you, Tekla, but there's another thought here. Because some people could say, you know, there are some really good men out there who want, they don't want to be single, but then the quality of the women they can't find good when they do find a woman the woman is not very nice and then that the, that woman themselves changes that man from being a really good man wanting to to be the best best man he can be he gets a woman who is not as sincere as he is and then just changes his persona you yeah because the topic the, the, the topic um it 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 can be responded to depending on who's speaking because right. all of the assessment you make an assessment based on your own values um, men will make assessment based on our own values, um, and we can categorize it. Um, I'm not, I'm not aware that men get together and sit down to discuss the eligibility of women, <laughs> why they're single, etc. I right. mean, I mean, do, do, do you, you'd find a group of guys sitting, a woman will pass. The comment will not be, "Is she single?" <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, you, you, it's, it's not the kind of would, would, would not a man would a man sit there and say, "Okay, then I'm looking for a woman." I mean, they wouldn't say, "I'm mm. looking for him to their friends," but mm -hmm. he, he, their friends know that he's single, all mm -hmm. right, and he's maybe is interested in somebody, mm -hmm. right? Would another ma another man say, "Well, you know what? She's got no kind of, you know, no ambition, or she's not, you know?" Would they advise her that man way? Wants her for they, some I would quicker get that comment from another from a woman, another woman who knows her. Um, I'm saying that, that men tend to react to and talk about, say the good things that they would wish about a woman. She passed away. Wow, that woman looking good. Eh? Or oh, that woman looking ugly. They would simply <laughs> react to what they saw <laughs> or what they see. 
right? Um, really the whole question single of single, the whole question of being single, there are many reasons why people would be single. Mm -hmm. It doesn't necessarily have to do that a woman decided that she's going to be single because she can't get a man or she doesn't like the men who are available or she has a problem with the men who are available. She might have had certain experiences. Um, she might, I'm not aware that any woman decides I'm going to die single. Yeah, man, there, are, know, women, there well, are women who make that decision. Yes, there's women who make that decision, yes. but I don't think well, it would I mean, be a majority. I, I think I'm going, to, I'm going to die be an old maiden. I think I'm going to be the only person in my family <laughs> who, who hasn't married, because my brother's married, my two sisters are married, I'm the eldest and I'm not married. That, but there are reasons so why I, and, I've, and I've confirmed that, and reasons, I'm quite happy with that. There are reasons why people don't, don't get married. Um, there are many social reasons. Them. People, children grow up in a house where um, there's been battering the father has been beating the wife and they grow up thinking that you know it is wedding it's, it's married life that causes that mm -hmm. there must be something married life is enslaving yeah yeah you know it's got to be the married thing me i ain't going unmarried no man or i ain't going unmarried no woman you know so there are lots of reasons but why it, it but mm -hmm. does it okay from from what you have said uh, it makes me feel as if women take it more seriously in terms of being single, I think we take it more seriously I think, I than think a, so. a man. And could that account for uh, the reason why some men don't are not committing to their relationships? Because they're still wanting to, to explore. They're not really ready to settle down. Whereas a woman, according to their values, as you were talking, their value yeah. systems, they may say, you know what, I've done all this before. Yeah, but I, the, values, the values are not static across the board. Um, the reasons people get married... Um, there are many reasons people get married. They don't necessarily get married um, to live a life everlasting. Um, um, there are women who tell you that a, a wedding really should not go beyond seven years today. You know, there mm. are people in relationships for 30, 35 years and they tell you, listen, I don't have a problem. But I know of no perfect marriage. But I also can understand um, people who say that, listen, um, after the love dries out, mm -hmm. then might as well you go your different ways because you end up coexisting mm -hmm. rather than um, continuing what really brought you together. So what I'm saying is that there are many reasons why a woman or a man might opt to be single because there are men who would have had experiences and who are who are divorced or separated and decide i ain't getting married to no other woman again um a woman might say well maybe because of his bad experience he's putting a blanket thing and saying well all women are the same mm -hmm. and i wouldn't want us to say that you know all men are the same oh, no, not you, at all. you know so it, it has to do with um our own values our own perceptions. When you say um, our, we're speaking about gender, gen right? Yeah, ge yeah, yeah. Um, how men see women and how women see men. We just mentioned it. The things that women would sit down and discuss about life are not the things that men would sit down and discuss about life. Um, don't the, you we, think grew that up, we grew up, the, the role of the woman in the family as we grew up. The woman is supposed to be making children. She's supposed to be in the bedroom. She's supposed to be seen out of the house. The man is supposed to be working and taking care of our laws. But used I'm, happy to recognize you, I'm happy you made that point. Yeah, our laws used to recognize that, but that's no more. All right, let me hear Tekla's take. No, no, no. Let me hear Tekla's take on this. It's supposed to be biblically old. Mm -hmm. A man is the head of the family. Mm hmm and one of the problems we have in society, and society is not limited to St. Lucia, it is general, because men have relinquished their roles. Now, it could either be due to economic factors, because I was raised in a home where my mother took care of the kids. She ensured that when my father came home, the food was warm waiting for him on the table, and the food, the vegetables the would be in one instinct. plate, the, the maternal the, instinct, the peas in another thing, and the, the meat in something else. And I mean, that was nicely there waiting for him as soon as he walked in. Mm -hmm. In those days, the economy allowed that. Mm -hmm. He could have afforded to take care of his wife and his children. As economical, as the economy, or, 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 or should we say, financial mm -hmm. access to families became tighter women actually had to be working and helping the husband in the home. 
some men saw it as okay both of us have to work and we share dual responsibilities and that's where you started saying the feminist because um progressively some men relinquished their responsibilities they left everything for the woman especially if it was a situation where she was the higher breadwinner in the home i'm gonna have to ask you to continue that in a second because we need to get to the break okay viewers you we don't have much time for you to wrap up with the um answers all right and we most probably we may even take some of your calls uh, quite shortly all right this is the law factor live of course on dbs um so stay with us